Hey guys, and welcome to my video. So, today I'll show you how to bend shapes and text. Now, just to start off, bending text is different from bending shapes. I'll cover text first, since it's slightly easier to operate with. Now, step number one, all you have to do is insert text as shown in the video. So, I'm just going to insert text right now, um, and I'm gonna name it YouTube. Well, if I make, okay, it's gonna fit in this, the box, nice. Okay, so step number two, go to toolbar. Okay, oh, by the way, you have to have uh, this text selected with the text um, tool. So step number two, go to the toolbar, which is right over here, and click on Warp Text. Now, there will be like an interface with many options, and you can choose from, well, variety of styles you can you transform your text in. Uh, for example, arc is, is something like this. Now, once you select one kind of style, you can also change the bending uh, settings. So, for example, I, I don't want to bend that much. Or uh, let's say, uh, let's increase the horizontal distortion. That's basically, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna be like, uh, should move a little bit more to right. So, the right side is gonna be like, for example, bi uh, bigger than the right, uh, no, sorry, the left one. Uh, the vertical basically means, uh, should, uh, should be um, more on the top or the bottom, as you can see. Now we also have uh, settings such as squeeze, inflate, fichet. Well, there's many of them, but it's the po the main point of this is for you to experiment and do it the way you want. Now, if you want to experiment, click on this one. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. So it's a little bit bent. I don't want that bent. Let's let's uh, make it more unbent. <laughs> we could say. And if you want a little bit more bent, you can do that. And then you can also choose from horizontal, vertical, well, setting. Um, now this will basically uh, bend in vertical line, so vertical axis and horizontal will bend in horizontal axis. So if you want it straight, you can be this. If you want it bent in the right side, you want it like this. If you want it bent in the left side, you want it like this. It's very simple, but it takes some time, you know, to master. I do like to mess with this just because, well, I like to make 3D shapes in Photoshop, which I'm of course gonna cover in probably one of the next videos. And yeah, it's a really good tool to use. So right now I'm going to move on to the next, uh, and this is shapes. Now I already created a rectangle shape with this tool, so you can see I just basically drag like this and you make a shape, just so for those who don't know. Um, so this is shape. And now our job is to warp it. Now all you have to do is hit Ctrl T or Command T on Mac and then right click and click warp. And now you can see it's like a net. Now all you have to think of right now is those four angles you can see here. So this one, this one and this one. Uh, and then you have four outer lines. Now how this works is basically if you bend this angle um, the, the whole bend basically it depends where you bend it will not be sy symmetric so for example if I do this and try to bend it like this you can see it's quite symmetric of course I can change it but the whole bending is quite symmetric now if I for example bend this angle and then try to for example bend it like this you can see it's more focused on this side on than this side of course I didn't bend too much so you cannot really see the difference but these angles do matter a lot so I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, if you have any kind of questions uh, well be sure to ask in the comments and I'm always on YouTube so yeah take care guys peace